Previously on Top Photographer. Today you're going to be competing in a landscape photography competition. You were shooting sunrise from the top of the empire. Now when I said we're going to the top, I did indeed mean the top. We're going even higher than that. All the way to the top. Going up to the private balcony. This private balcony that no one even knew existed up there. We're kind of having to scramble by each other. <laughs> <laughs> working in JPEG? Um, where am I? You get one chance to be at the top of the Empire State Building to shoot a sunrise photo, and your girl shot it in all JPEG. You know, there are issues for me with the fact that you shot it in a JPEG. It's a big problem in the grand scheme of things. You saved. I'm sorry, Jamal. Not a problem. I'm gonna keep shooting, I'm, you know, I'm still gonna keep doing what I'm doing, you know? One of you will become top photographer. We went up to the roof today. We met up with Nigel. He gave us our final competition. Well, congratulations, photographers. You've made it to the final challenge on Top Photographer. I was so excited. Up until now, I've told you how to shoot, where to shoot, how long you can shoot for, whether you can do post-processing, or whether you can't do post-processing. But now, all that's about to change. There's a reason why you are the two finalists. There was a certain signature style that you had and that's the reason why you got this far. Now it's up to you and only you to show me what you're worth. Because for your final challenge, you get to shoot what you want for as long as you want, post-process it for as long as you want. We get to do whatever we want, wherever in New York we want. There is, of course, one prerequisite. You have to deliver that final image, processed or not, by 9 p.m. tonight. Now, throughout this competition, You've got to shoot with the most extraordinary Canon cameras. You've got to use just about every Canon lens. So I want you to put together your dream Canon package, and you're gonna get it from the Adorama Rental Company in New York City. We get to load up a Canon backpack with all of our dream Canon gear. Like, when he told me that, I was literally like, I was so pumped. It's up to you to take the best shot ever. Roxy, because you won the landscape challenge, I'm gonna give you my first assistant, Toby, so use him as you see fit. Hey, Toby! Here. And of course, don't forget, the winner of Top Photographer gets a $50,000 prize package and a gallery exhibition showcasing their work. And I'm personally going to host it for you. That will be a game changer for the photographer who wins. All right, good luck. You too. The location that popped into my head was the Oculus. I've always wanted to shoot there, and I'd seen pictures of it, and I was like, I need to go there. All right, Toby, I do not know New York, but I know what I want to do, so lead the way. All right, let's do it. So as far as the look, the Meatpacking District is like old New York, cobblestone streets. Beautiful. Places with amazing graffiti, all these yes. little niches. So today, the first thing I did when they gave us our gear was check that. Like, are we on Raw? Uh, we that we are on, on Raw. When I look at her photos, they make me smile. They make me react. They're the kind of pictures that have an iconic feel to them. It's very current. It's very now. Immediately, I called my friend Natalie. I was like, I need a model. And I told her the situation, and she was like, I got the girl for you. All right, let's do this. Scott's a brilliant photographer. He's got an incredible eye. He understands color. He understands landscape. He understands story. But Scott often gets in his own way. He can get very excited, he can get very passionate, and that passion boils over and often affects his actual workflow. If Scott's able to pull himself together, pull that passion in, apply it just to his photography, then maybe, just maybe, he'll have a shot at becoming top photographer. Roxy has a finger on the button. She really knows who she is. You see her personality through and through in her pictures and her subject reacts to her well. Down the street here, there's, they are doing some big construction. I love the idea of the construction. I knew I needed a model. I had to do something kind of editorially and fashion. Hey, oh my goodness, oh. thanks for showing up. We're gonna get started. We also get some graffiti right over here. Yeah, let's get there. I just grabbed a dress from a dress that I had brought today, which is how I started shooting. I would just grab a friend, throw her in my clothes, and 
do her hair and makeup, make sure it looks cool, and we go out and shoot. Roxy's zest for life is a big part of who she is. You see it in every one of Roxy's pictures. Personality, movement, smiling, laughing, connection. I love right here, cars or no cars. I want you to like, yeah. let go, but just whatever, uh-huh. Uh-huh. Good hop, hop, hop. If you see a car, just yell car. Coming right back at me, good. Give me a little more boogie down the runway. Let's do, let's move. I hope you brought some like flowy stuff, yeah? Nice. Let's see what we've got. First off, her hair was like platinum blonde, so it was like almost white, which was, you know, match the dress, match the background. That is awesome. Whoa, this is so hard. All right, cool. Pieces were falling into place. Oh, man. Because what I want to do is I want to capture the epicness of like where we are, the grand scale of the whole place. Go in and she's like, oh, what's your sign? I'm like, I'm an Aries. Really Hi. sick. Sign? Aries. Aries? Yeah. Gemini. Oh, we get along. Uh, we yeah, yeah, there we go. We'll make some magic happen. And she's like, oh, so we actually link. Like, this should be great. And I was like, yeah, cool. <laughs> yeah, right? Oh, yes. You can do some. They're kind of like, like floaty type jumps like that. Do like a little spin with it or something. So kind of, let's do this. Yeah. She was in the center of the Oculus, down on the ground, and she was actually kind of spinning. Her dress was lifting and up, and then I you just got the entire view of the Oculus. Yeah. Oh, it's so good. I went back to my basics, and um, it felt good. I mean, Toby and I had a great time. He helped so much. I mean, it was just a good day. <gasps> Toby! Right? I love it. Just the copy. It's mm -hmm. sexy. Just keep going. The face, keep it intense. I love that, it's Toby. It's great to tell the story and not just like mm -hmm. put a girl standing someplace. Yeah. And, no, I, like, I want her to. caution tape, like she's running away from yeah. something. Yeah. Yeah. Like pulled out so it's kind of like, like a U shape or like, yeah, there you go. And then you're just going to go and then just let it down. It was like, like that. Like we were like best friends shooting out there. Yes. Again? Nigel like called us for an interview. I was like, what's up, Nigel? I'm lying on the ground on the Oculus. What's up, Nigel? Good, you look like you're in the Oculus. <laughs> yes, I am. You can see it way up there. Very cool, very cool. How are you doing, man? How's it going? Oh, it's going really well. Um, I'm actually on the ground here, I think as you can see. Yeah, we're playing around with a lot of movement. Um, I really like the white on white with the dress on the white from the Oculus. Um, I really love movement in photos, so that's what we're really trying to capture here. It's a beautiful location. It's a, it's a fabulous spot. And she comes and sits on, sits on my back. How well do you know this girl? Uh, actually, she's a friend of a friend, but... We just got along really well. <laughs> it always helps to have friends. <laughs> yes, it does. Well, good luck, my friend. All right, thanks a lot, Nigel. All the best. Just being a woman as a photographer is such a powerful thing and I think we need so many more of us. Okay. Yeah, what is, yeah, where has that been? I love that. In three, two, one. Do you want to get a little more, let's pop up to, to like 250? Yes. Yes. Good. I think I let go of the pressure a little bit and just kind of shot. Hey, how you doing? It's amazing. Toby has been my man all day. We're a good team. Yeah. Uh-oh. Don't worry. He works for me now. No. Uh-oh. <laughs> uh -oh. Oh, we're going to have a problem because I want to keep Toby. Everything's going great. Good. I see that. You, it looks like you're in the meatpacking district. Where are you? That's my hood. We're getting... Yeah, so I hear. But now it's starting to become my hood. So. Oh, okay. We're getting so much good stuff. I think it, my problem now is going to be picking one, and I'm so happy about that. Well, good luck, Roxy. Good luck. Okay, bye-bye. Saha, so, huh? just walk. You just walk and give it to me. Like That's your runway. Go for it. Come back here. Girl, don't show those things to everybody. I know. <laughs> <laughs> yep, love it. So sick. Chin down a bit. <laughs> All right, cool. Let's get back. Yeah. Oh. 
Oh. I shot inside and I had some really great images, but they were a little yes. flat. Oh, they, weren't, killed it. they weren't as dynamic as I wanted. So the one outside, it, it's it's like shot up. It was it was just a blast. A bit more. There we go. This it's a wrap. Killed it. I actually made my one star selects in camera because you can rate in, in the camera. So good. Look at the line. Right? So it was already one step ahead. I don't think I'll need like with editing. It's already like it's there. I had all the ones I liked ready to go. We made it. Go, give it to me a little deeper. Good. Toby, I think I got it. Awesome. Yeah. I think you got some amazing shots yeah, in there. Awesome. All right, let's, wrap let's up. get back to the hotel. Thank you, Thank you. so much. You were amazing. So we just finished shooting, and I am beyond excited to start looking at my photos and editing. You know, we get back to the Paper Factory Hotel. Um, I get all of my images uploaded. Her, her dress is pleated, but see, it's a white, like kind of pleated at the bottom. It just matched up perfectly with the Oculus kind of, you know, lines that kind of curve over and everything. Coming back to look at my photos, there was one in particular that was a Roxy photo, as Nigel would say. I actually ended up with three images to, to decide between. Between all of those, I love this one. I think this might be the one. And at first I was really sitting there and having Toby look at me and he's like, well, these are nice, was scary. Very, very serious in here. Very serious. I can feel the tension. And I like what I see already. <laughs> what an awesome location. Couldn't, I think I couldn't ask for a better day there. Ultimately, I, I had to crop it super wide. And you cropped yeah. like this because there were people in the picture? There were people, but I also love the, the wide format. Um, I think it gives it like a cinematic feel, like it's almost a, like a movie still. Did you head to this spot? Immediately. Specifically? Yes, this was, when you said we could go anywhere, this was the first thought in my mind. Fantastic, I have not shot here yet. Really? You beat me to it. <laughs> How many pictures did you take? Um, lots, 1,200. 1,200, 1,200. 1,205 to be precise. I was having a good day. Wow. He was very optimistic. I see you have Toby in the shot. Yeah. That's part. <laughs> oh, I'm, not, I'm not sure you can afford him. He's an extremely expensive model. Um, listen, there's always an element of surprise in my shots. I think Toby might be it this time. It, it might be, but it might also take you way too long to retouch him. What Roxy has to make sure <laughs> of is that her love of life doesn't overwhelm her and ultimately take away from her ability to capture that great picture. Clock is ticking, so just you know, bear that in mind, and I'm going to come back and see how you're doing in okay. a little bit. Thank you. Like, he didn't say he hated it. Oh, man. All right, one hour. That's really what I tried to play with today is motion. It's like really wide. I think I was at like maybe 11 millimeters because I was on 11 to 24. I love that lens. But I actually get a part of the world trade and then she's kind of sweeping in with her dress from the right side. So your eye kind of flows in to the color of her face. And then after that, you kind of get to explore the whole image. Nothing really wowed me. I love the light in this one. Mm -hmm. Her pose I'm not crazy about. But... Uh, enough said, not crazy about move. Okay. Sometimes I worry that he sees it too soon, and then I'd rather him see it when it's done. Around 40 minutes left. Yeah. I'd love you to, to start to pick your picture and start to really work on finessing it, making it look the way you want it to look. But think again. Don't forget who you are, what you are, what represents you. The tips he gave me, I mean, I, I heard, listened to them, and as soon as he walked away from me, I went and did exactly what he said. I'm really happy. W what draws your eye away from the picture. So Nigel gave me a few tips. He said, you know, make sure that what you want the audience to concentrate on, make sure that that's the spot that I, that I direct their eyes to. So what I wanted to do is just to give it a more full feel. Uh -huh. So I'm actually duplicating some hair to fill in that. Nigel! 
Hey. Let me just be honest with you. I was a little worried. I, this, this makes me feel that, like I would, be, I would stop if I was turning a page. I would stop at this. One of the things I loved about your images was the sense of whimsy, the sense of charm, and as for sure, I look at it. I'm like, oh, you know, it, it's wrong, but it's wrong in all the right ways. Mm -hmm. And that's what makes it Roxy. Ten, nine, eight. I would start working on the real fine details. Just zoom right in here. What are these creases doing in that dress there? Is that a good thing? These work. Do they work? Three, two, one, done. Wow. Well done, both of you. So have a great night. Get some sleep, if you can. Tomorrow, one of you will have the chance of becoming top photographer and winning a $50,000 prize package and the opportunity to have an exhibition showcasing all of your work for the whole of New York to see, hosted by me. I get some rest. Streets and stuff, it was Sweet. beautiful. Sweet. Yeah, where did you go? I actually went to the World Trade Center. I went to the Oculus. It's like kind of underneath it, it's like the memorial, or oh. near the memorial, so. Yeah, I've never been, but I'm sure it's it beautiful. incredible. Well, have a good night. You too. <laughs> good luck tomorrow. Thanks, you too. It was super Roxy. You know, even if this isn't an award-winning shot, it's me, and that's what I went out and did today. You know, yesterday I said, you know, I need, I really want to make myself proud and I did it today. Like, pulling the pieces together and executing, we were just literally having so much fun that I, I really forgot that it was a competition. Next time, the season of Top Photographer comes to a close as world-famous supermodel Coco Rocha. I wouldn't say that it's the editorial piece. I wouldn't say it's the cover piece. The fashion icon, Josie. I love the elements around it, but have the elements of the room taken over. Join me to reward one of our two remaining contestants. We are looking for the next top photographer. Our first top photographer. The top photographer is... Yo, dude, so you're officially uh, out of top photographer. We've had loved having you here. But I wanted to see how do you guys feel about doing a little unofficial challenge today between the three of you guys. Sure, yeah, yeah. let's do it. What are we doing? We had a little challenge between Andrew, myself, and Chris. Why don't we let you guys go to Central Park? Whoever comes back with the best image wins on account of a vote from you know the cast and the crew. Take the best photo you can take, and the winner get a $500 gift card to Adorama. We're cruising through the city now. We are on our way to Central Park. Woo. The three of us, we were sent out to Central Park really just to kind of blow off some steam, you know? Just do whatever the hell you want. Get the best picture you can. And so you have about an hour and 45 minutes, two hours. I had like someone lined up to shoot, and then they were only going to be available till five. I haven't really known what to shoot because it's like still kind of out of my element. Uh, my model canceled on me. These guys were talking about, yeah, I'm gonna call a model, I'm gonna call a model, and I was just gonna wing it, go out there, see what I could find. The idea I had was to go to like the Bethesda Fountain. We went there, and dude, there was there was so many people in there. Should I yell fire? Maybe I'm gonna run away. Like I'll just kind of like walk around and see what happens. Had some street food that was like an eight out of ten. It was so good. Got it. Like I was, you know, I was trying to do some landscapes, and I just came to the realization I'm never gonna be Andrew T. Kearns. So uh, it was just kind of one of those things. So I said, you know what, screw it. I'm gonna stick to what I know. So I <laughs> found this beautiful Polish girl, immediately fell in love with her. I took her through some poses and whatnot. She jumped around and all kinds of stuff. She's a really willing model, which was great. And I ended up getting some really, really great shots of her, so. All right, I'm running down to this boathouse place that I saw on the map that might be cool. No idea if it'll be or not. Apparently it's a restaurant, not a, uh, at a boathouse. So I just like kind of turned back and then sat at the bridge for a bit and like shot some boats. I 
as I was walking back with pretty much nothing great, uh, I came across this this old guy reading the newspaper. And I was like, oh, dude, that's it right there. That's it right there. Overall, I have a lot of fun. I'm probably going to get a whole show out of Robin TV. I'm, I'm making good television right now. We really needed this break. Uh, so we had to go to Central Park and do a little competition amongst ourselves. And uh, it, was actually, it was actually pretty cool. I'm pretty sure I got the winning image. I'm, just, I'm, I'm sure Andrew T. Kearns got the worst image, and Chris probably has the second best picture. <laughs> Yeah. He's probably right, yeah. Cool. yeah. <laughs> Everybody here voted on which one they wanted, and you won. So that means you're going to get a $500 gift card to Adorama. And as an extra bonus, the Paper Factory Hotel is upgraded you to an executive suite tonight. So tonight? you get to moved in one of the 